Hello, welcome back. Uh, so, in the last video we did uh, the reference counting and we finished up the serialization of a graph. And, and I feel like we're in a good shape to wrap this up a little bit. So today we're going to do two things. We're going to check coverage. Uh, so to make sure that we're testing all our code uh, we should be close because of the methodology. So test-driven development, it's kind of, you know, test first. So, but there may be something that we're missing. And if there's something needs to fix, we can do it in the video. And then we are going to talk a, bit, a little bit about packaging and how to distribute a DigPy uh, or a Python module package uh, so other people can install this and use it. Right, so let's start by coverage. Um, so, well, if I run the test just to make sure that oh, it's good, we have all tests passing, so that's awesome. And now let's run the test suite but using coverage. I talked about that in a previous video, and, and, and I have an alias for it, it's a simple alias, it's nothing fancy, and that runs all the tests and then show me a, a report, a coverage report. So this is saying all the tests are good, right? 19 tests. And then we are missing, we have 99% of coverage and we are missing that line. So let's take a look. 113, okay. So that's the line. And this is, what's this about this? When we create a graph from data, we have some validation going on, like this, okay, um, but looks like we are never passing like invalid data, so we're going to add a task for that, right? we're trying to pass garbage there and make sure that the graph is not doing anything stupid. So in the usage tests, we're going to create a new method for it. So test uh, data validation, let's say. So basically we want to assert test that uh, if I go digipy.graph.fromData and I pass, let's say a number, it should return none. Right, because a number is not valid. Same thing with uh, a text, for example. Same thing with, let's do a dictionary, uh, but without the key. So I should be foo, no, bar. And same thing. Uh, but uh, this being data type, the right key but with a wrong value. So that should do it, right? We want none in all those cases. So if I run the test, uh, we have an error. We're failing the test. So what's going on? The integer don't doesn't have the attribute get. So of course. We are assuming that this is a dictionary and this fails when we pass anything else, right? So we need to check that this is a dictionary. So if this is not an instance, is instance data dict or doesn't have the key, uh, we fail, return none. So that's it, that fixes it. Now we can pass any data and it will catch it. So we'll like proper validation. And if I run me, my coverage again, we have 100% of coverage. So that's awesome, right? First part done, we get the 100%. By the way, that 100% means that uh, when we run the codes, the test suite, we are running, we're passing through, we're executing all the lines of code, at least one, 
but that doesn't mean that we are testing the right thing, for example. So don't get too obsessed on that number. It's just an indication of, of you like doing the right thing or well, who knows, passing through all the code. Every code has been tested at least one, but that doesn't guarantee that there's no bugs or whatsoever. So yeah, that's coverage. Uh, I think I will break the video here and in the next one we are talk we are going to talk about packaging and and yeah and grab it up that will be it for for digipy so see you in the next one bye bye